Their 100 gold skull is hidden around the world. By defeating them and gathering the illustration pieces they drop, you will be rewarded with special bonuses. Gold skulls will only appear within the spider's web on the map to fulfill certain battle conditions. They flee after a set period of time has passed, so move quickly. You can check information on gold skulls hidden on a given battlefield from the select scenario screen. However, some will only appear when using specific warriors or weapons. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Hyrule Warriors Adventure Mode. So, in the last episode, we started traveling around and, you know, completed a couple more missions. I didn't do perfect in it, but it was good enough. In this one, we're heading into here, we're getting this, uh... We're gonna be playing as Sheik... Impa. Impa, not Sheik. I keep making that mistake. Impa, and we're gonna be getting another compass in here. Watch out, all attacks are devastating. Great, another one of these. Eh, shouldn't be that bad, I guess. The... We haven't tried the Naginata yet. I want to get some kills for this. Creating badges for rewards at the badge market will help improve their abilities in battle. The bonuses granted by a badge only apply to warriors for whom it was created. Creating badges both requires rupees and specific materials, but the benefits they add to the warriors can immensely be helpful in battle. I don't know why, but I feel like reading everything nowadays. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Defeat 10 enemy captains. Alright. Let's do this. Bye. Yeah, I figured they'd be up here. Naga not as freaking sweet as can be. Let's try its special attack. Alright, all I have to do is head up here and then down the other side, and we'll try out the special attack on them. Wow, it has good range. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! And it hits so many of them. I win. I killed everything. <laughs> the Naganat is pretty awesome. I think I like it better than Giant's Blade. And I got an A rank easily. Never got hit, took very little time, and killed everything in my path. Peace of heart. All right, good way to start off the the episode, not mission. Meh. Victory is mine. Alright, got two more areas. Oh, one with Midna. I'm doing this one. And sure enough, fire on this. I like that kind of system where you get rewards by doing those things. So I can now get something shackles or something with Midna there. 
or I can head in here and get that bracelet. Hmm. I'm just gonna start off by going. Actually, let's start off by going with uh, Impa. Defeat the Island Beast. Sweet. I want to keep as uh, Impa right now. Keep using. Uh, let's use the Giant's Blade. I have a feeling like we're going against a. Uh, uh, King Dodongo, and I want to, you know, have the power from that. Of course, materials, slots, and weapons, uh, you know, what I'm saying. Capture your rupee fairy, enemies will start dropping a higher number of rupees for a limited amount of time. I did not know that rupee fairies were a thing, and apparently they are. That's awesome. We must win! The fate of Hyrule depends on it! Sure it does. Oh, bomb juice. Wait, gold cuckoo? I saw that. I don't normally read those very often. Kind of distracts me. Not a good thing. All right, get distracted. Whatever. Gold cuckoo. I know you're up here. I know I, you know, didn't save the child, but whatever. Oh, hey, this is expects me to use the fire. I'm actually about to lose this, aren't I? Because I'm an idiot and wasn't paying attention. If an enemy base appears to be locked, it means the boss has shut it tight. To unlock the enemy base, find a boss key hidden in a keep. Once you acquire the boss keep, walking near the enemy base will open its gates. Okay, boss keys are now a thing. That's awesome. And the gold cuckoo is now dead. Boom. And with that, I get the Fire Fairy. Now I can head up here and take this key. Hopefully this is the one with the boss key in it. If not, then it's probably the one itself. And, oh, nope, this is instead where the heart piece slash heart container is. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was a heart container, though. Maybe. Nope, this is the boss key. I'm wrong. Wasn't, a, wasn't there a heart container in this one? Or am I mistaken? Or is that for getting A rank? Ah, that's probably for getting A rank. Never mind. Ah. Uh. So let's just head to the south and do it all. Wow, we have an army. I just noticed that we actually have a lot of freaking soldiers now. Oh well, I'm gonna go kill the enemy boss. See you guys later. Just gotta find my way down there. Not really find my way, just take my way. Cause I'm making my way downtown. I'm going fast. Hyrulean captain is a uh, Hyrulean captain is uh, trouble. Boom! 
Let's uh, take, take some more damage. And Big Po, say goodnight because I'm finishing you. Okay, really, Big Po? You're gonna be like that. Alright. What well, was a good thing I decided to bring this instead of the Naginata or whatever it is? Because, you know, fire doesn't work as well against uh, the King Dodongo. Now all I have to do is get my way up there and just bomb its mouth. I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Do, 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 do. I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Do, 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 do. Deal all that damage. Probably have to deal another, right? Yep. Second one did even less, actually. And do I kill it? Yeah, I slayed the Denongo. Pretty easy to do, especially with the water weapon. Well done. Thank you for all your brave efforts. Do -do 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 -do. Ha ha! Victory is mine. That was quite easy, actually. Really? I didn't kill enough people for the... Okay. Well, I'll have to head back in there. Oh no, so difficult. I'll do that next episode. So it's been like 15 minutes so far, so let's do one more mission. I'll have to head in there next episode. Once again, I'm not really worrying about doing everything perfectly on the first try. That'll be before episode little things. Um, let's head in here with Midna. We unlocked it. There's no reason not to. And apparently we're fighting... Okay. Why are we fighting against Lana? Why are we fighting with Zant? That's weird. <laughs> uh... That's it. Really? That's... I, I forgot I didn't have any good stuff with that. Fi, Spirit of the Sword. When Sia opened a portal to Sky off the fabled city in the sky, she never intended to give the hero both a weapon and an eye at the same time, yet this came to pass. Fi, the spirit that inhabits the goddess sword, is an unusual being. Gifted with acute and analytical senses and lengthy battle-related knowledge, Fi proves herself with vital to any conflict. Despite being a sword and a literal weapon, Fi possesses amazing grace and dancing ability. Watching her dance in the face of her enemies is a truly mesmerizing sight to behold. Also, I don't know why I started stuttering when I started saying some of those things. So, mm, shows how great I am. Mm. Is it okay to enjoy fighting with them all? Wait, is this just a play fight? Are we are we play fighting here? Minna does not deal as much damage as I was hoping. To be fair, her weapon's pretty crappy. It only deals a hundred damage right now. I've not been getting good weapons for her. And I just got full magic. Ah, that's a good feeling. So let's head down here. Now that I think about it, I need to go and take every keep before the boss keep. Boss keep? Main keep? That thing. Uh, defeat Fortifier Captain immediately. Alright, 
I'm gonna leave that stuff for a moment so I can take this because I'm pretty sure, let's be honest, this is probably where one of it is. The fairy fountains always tend to hold good goodies, whether it comes in the form of allies from the assistance, I think is the word I was looking for, from the actual fairy, or just, you know, hidden things. Nope, I was wrong. So, since I was wrong, let's just head over here. Factional on this course is advancing towards the Allied base. Not that I care, because I'm too busy doing this. Getting this art piece or heart container. I'm gonna guess a heart piece. And I'm wrong, it's a heart container. <laughs> Alright. Strengthen the enemy keep. You strengthen it against me, because I'm pretty sure you can't get too strong for me to beat. <laughs> and just like that, that key boss is down, and I get this, the piece of hearts. I, unless it was two heart containers, then I'm completely wrong. Nope, piece of heart. Seriously though, Impa, is, Impa is a good character, but Minda's just so much fun to play. Not only that, but honestly, Minda's one of my favorite Zelda characters. She's just not only mysterious and fun, but she's kind of adorable. And honestly, has actually a pretty cool backstory. I think this is the one I actually took from them before, but you know, might as well steal it in the name of me. out. <laughs> I was about to say, I uh, get it, but then I start you. <clears throat> can't just guard against an entire whirlwind. You know what, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Well, apparently it didn't work. Let's head north now. I want to check one thing. Is there any gold school to us? There's two. I just beat the 1,000th enemy, so that should be popping up soon. I'll do that real quick. Yep, it's right behind our outpost, Captain. Because you know they can't grab this from me or anything. I'll keep note of this spot over here and see if the other one spawns here. Because if so, I think they're always just going to be right next to each other or in the same spot even. So from the looks of it, our base doesn't need help anymore. So instead, I'm just going to kill the enemies. And now that I'm done with that, actually, let's beat this base too. Alright. I only need 118 more, I can get the other gold skull tool. Well, and I'm sorry, but I'm just a better warrior than you. Boom! Didn't quite do it in time. Oh well. Let's see if he chases me down here.
and boom. Come on. I like the way this the keep works. I'll take it. Okay. If that's just how you're gonna be, Minna. So Okay. Did I did it not count me defeating the fortifier captains? Is that the reason why the gold sculptor isn't spawning? I'm gonna guess that it's not gonna spawn you guys, so I'm just gonna end this. Let's just end this. Let's just bomb you. See how you feel about that. Give you a solid punch to the face. Kill your uh, little friend down there. Give me another bomb. I'll be taking that all that SP for myself, by the way, to use against you. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have packed it full of SP that you can't even use. You are dead. Did you just get punched in the face? Yep, you just got punched in the face. I think you might be dead by being punched in the face. Quite humiliating, really. Not my fault, though. Uh, you should go talk to someone else about that. <laughs> I don't think that will be a thing. Not today, Zant. But let's try. All the same, since we got an A rank, we did get the prize of this. I got a weapon. Got a sealed weapon. It's pretty sweet and whatnot. Now, with that victory... Twilight Shackle, a cursed shackle originating from the Twilight Realm. Sweet. Alana's hair clip, Dunolfo's fang, or Alphos leather, and monster teeth. I only got one of the two available in this, but you know it's Sia's hand and boob. From the looks of it, her right boob. And right hand. Alright. So, next episode, I'll of course be opening up with the stuff I missed. Okay, that was... Wow, I missed a lot in this one. I might, I might as well have just not played this. <laughs> Alright, so guys, next time we'll be going in, I'll be showing off all the stuff I missed, which of course will be happening at the beginning of the episode, as per usual, and we'll be covering off more of these... See you guys next time.